my name is Jasmine Rast, and I'm the one of the owners of uh, Roy Station Coffee and Teas in Japantown. My grandfather and his brothers initially ran the gas station, and it was uh, Joe, Mike, and Roy. And then, uh, but they were all still drafted, so they had to wait a few years after the draft and everything. But they, uh, my grandfather's family was in Gila, so they were in uh, Arizona. They were interned at the time that the business came available and what they did is they got a special clearance to come here and sign paperwork and buy the property and then go back. So it started off Joe, Mike and Royce, then Mike, as family businesses goes, everybody branches off. So Mike branched off, then it became Mike and, or it became Joe and Royce. And then after a while, Joe was split off, so it just became Roy. My grandfather ran the gas station until about uh, 1990. Then it was just paved over. My grandfather didn't know what to do with it. Just kind of let it sit. He rented it to Golden Bay for storage. Um, everyone kind of parked their cars around here. Um, it was just not a lot going on. And so my dad actually was the one who was like, we've always, we need a hub. We need a place for people to meet. And so he said, a coffee shop. So he proposed a coffee shop that's 2007, right when Starbucks is like gaining momentum mm -hmm. and people understand that. Um, he proposed it to my grandfather and my grandfather and grandmother thought he was crazy. Hmm. They were like, I can make coffee at home. Why would I? He's like, no, there's a, these other coffees like lattes and mochas. And they're like, who would spend $6 on a mocha? That's, that's, that's ridiculous. You make coffee. I'm making the coffee maker Folgers. So, took some took some convincing, mm -hmm. but uh, we uh, started the process, and it took us a good two years to get it from initial stage to opening. Mm -hmm. So, um, my dad and I did a lot of the work ourselves. Um, he's a general contractor, and I was working with him at the time. But I think um, what has kept Japan Town kind of like this hidden jewel is the fact that. Um, We've worked together to kind of keep it mom and pop, small people who are very involved in community, who want to um, kind of build something together as a community.